2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Falcon Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group today. Hi Luke, I'm pleased to be following this featured group as there are rumours of quite a rivalry kicking off between these two players. And Henny, this week he's looking to beat Harold Varner III. He certainly won't beat him in the entertainment stakes. <laughs> he is one of the funniest players out there. You better be on your guard and keep mentally focused because he'll distract you with his jokes as well as his game. HV3 is one of a kind and he'll kill you with his laid-backness out on the golf course. Yes, yeah, high on confidence as Harold Van the third. Make sure you uh, step up to the plate and deliver, although you're going to enjoy this rivalry because he's one of the best players out on tour to play with. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Setting up from about 130 yards out. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Always nice to have a birdie putt. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. It's just about three feet away. And that's an opening hole par for this player. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. Let's check in with our man on the ground, John McCarthy, for our course report. John, what will Foxhole Golf Links be serving the players this week? Well, Luke, I think Foxhole Golf Links is going to be serving up some birdies, maybe a side of eagle. Uh, the course really is right in front of these players, and what you see is what you get. Uh, not a whole lot of tricks to it, so I think people are going to be firing at these flags all week, and uh, I'm going to sit back and enjoy that. Hopefully the folks at home will as well. Setting up in some very deep rough. Opting for the five iron. Well, this could alter the line of the shot. That was a bit of a miscue. Now, coming out of the rough, missing the green was always in the cards. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. It's been neck and neck. He's actually tied with his rival. This is tough. Can he do it? Ouch, that hurts. That's disappointing. Okay, let's get back to it, shall we? And this one is for his par. Big chance here. Oh, just missed. Putting now for a bogey. Okay, let's head to the next. Sitting at one over for the day. Not much happening, moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. We have a par three on this one. Looks like they've got the five wood. Taking a right at the light, this is not what they want. 
Now, a little off the mark on that approach shot. This would be a great up and down. And a par putt awaits him. And there it is. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. Here we are at the fourth hole. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Sitting at one over. Ooh. Oh, that's clutch. What a way to save your par. What an amazing play out of the greenside bunker. Up and in the hole. Nicely done. Getting ready to play their third. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. And with that lovely play, they're now ahead of their rival. It's getting serious, isn't it? Billy Horschel currently in the lead here. Here we are at the fifth hole of Fox Hole uh, Golf Links. 424 par four from the tips. And only the really long players in the game are going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right-hand side. The shorter player is going to have to hit it out to the left-hand side with maybe not quite a driver. But from there, it's really just a flick of a second shot as this hole is just 424 yards. I'm thinking that every player is looking at this as a birdie opportunity. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Yeah, he's got around 125 here. Going with the seven. Wow, did this come out beautifully. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Hard to control the distance when you're coming out of the rough. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. He's got this for his part. This one's looking good. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. I haven't seen a putting display like this since I was five years old. Why don't we catch up with the V-Man, Harold Varner III.
Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Five shots off the pace. Looks to be going with the six iron. That's a pretty handy shot. Yeah, nicely played. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. That's the right pace. This should drop. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Putting for a par here. You've finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. Now five strokes behind. Time to face a par four. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. This one from about 160 yards out. Five shots off the lead. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. This one is right down the pipe. A yeah, quality shot, that. Trying to get to one under here with this putt. That putt seemed to lack a little bit of feel. It's, it defies gravity, that one. That should have chased out more, but it didn't. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. He's got some work to do, but he's only one back from his rival. Oh, oh, right at it from out of the bunker. It's time to check on the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. What an amazing approach shot. I think their rival, Harold Varner III, has a worthy competitor this week. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? This is a 12-footer here. Oh, that's frustrating. Just three feet to the cup. That's a disappointing par in the end after such a terrific shot in. So no movement on the leaderboard, remaining at even overall.
As we stride to the final hole of the outward half of Foxholm Golf Links, players will be licking their lips with this par five, measuring just over 500 yards. And this is a gift to end on. However, you've got to find the fairway, really, to give yourself the best opportunity. Players are not going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right-hand side, and if you hit it right of those, trees come into play. Bail out to the left. Give yourself a long iron second shot into this massive green. Lots of runoff areas all around this green, but what a great opportunity to end this front nine with possibly an eagle three. Yeah, this is the stuff we love getting after this par five in two. Absolutely love watching a player be bold and be rewarded for it. Let's take a look at HV3. <laughs> Terrific shot. Who could have thought you'd hold it? A spot in the top 20 awaits if they can make this part. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. And that will take him to two under. Here we go, Rich. The back nine on Sunday. What are your thoughts so far? Luke, so far, it's been entertaining watching these two go head to head. Not too sure exactly how this is going to play out. But so far, so good. Love watching these two compete. Lovely effort, that. Second shot here at the 10th. And here we are with the third shot. Four strokes off the lead. This putt will move them to three under par. Just didn't drop. Mm, good chance this one. Right on six feet. This is what they have left for par here. Looking good so far. Well, that'll maintain the momentum. Nice par putt. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. Yeah, he needs to press on that gas pedal he's two strokes back from his rival well there's the line the green side bunker can they get this one up and down oh that's great it just missed the hole so after that effort this is what the leaderboard looks like time to tee off on the 11th Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. And what are we looking at here, Henny? He's got, mm, I'd say a solid 145 here.
Oh, that one's straight at the pipe. Gee, I think they've got the handle of this game, Rich. Fairways and greens. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. This looks good. And that will drop in for birdie. And with that, we'll move to three under par. He's currently tied for 12. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. The 12th hole at Foxholm Golf Links is a strong par three, measuring 216 off the back tees. Luke, this is by far the scariest shot on this golf course. The runoff area to the left is severe. That golf ball will definitely run back into the hazard unless they catch a fantastic break. Players are definitely be bailing out to the right, but make sure you come up short and right because you want no part of that greenside bunker. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, right by the hole. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Okay, time to return to the action. A chance to move into the top ten on the leaderboard here. It's on a good line. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. finds himself in a share of seventh and after that good play moving up the leaderboard we've arrived at a par four Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. Henny, how's that ball lying? It's tough to see from here. Looks like they have a good lie here in the first cut. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Sitting at plus one. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Well, this would be a good putt to make to move into the top five. Ooh. That'll sting a bit. Three feet to go here to the hole. There it is. Justin Rose currently in the lead as we check the rest of the standings. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. And the effort, that one. Rich, when we talk about the English group of golfers over the last 20 years, really Justin Rose has been the, the star of them, hasn't he? Major champion, world number one, Hall of Famer. He's done it all. He certainly is that. And I have to say, he's probably one of the most resilient players you'll ever come across. As soon as he got done holding out that shot at the major championship years ago, turned professional, and went out and missed 20 some odd cuts in a row and never gave up kept after it kept after it which that would have broken
That would have broken most men, not Rose. That's why he's gone out and become a major champion. He is such a force in the game. There's no reason why he cannot play at a high level for many, many years to come. The ball striking is phenomenal. I love his stroke. I love the way that he puts it. I just think that he hits so many good putts that just don't go in. It just kind of gets under his skin. Listen, don't let it, Rosie. You putt it fantastically. Keep after it. I love this man's game. He's such a talent. Wow, what a shot. Putting for birdie here. That was a gallant attempt. Unable to take advantage of the great approach there, Rich. Bubba Watson is atop the leaderboard with a one-stroke advantage. Stepping up to the 16th tee now. Pretty good shot there from around 220 yards. Just three strokes back. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Bit too much club there, wasn't it? And now heading over to Harold Varner III. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Didn't that look good for a long time? Certainly makes putty easy if he can chip it that close. Love watching this player around the greens. Getting ready to play their third. Only a few shots off the pace. Ah, uh, that's a touch of class. Great touch. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. And down it goes. A live look at the leaderboard, and Bubba Watson finds himself in top spot. This is a short par four, always a fun hole to play. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Well, this should find the short grass. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. And look out, guys. This rivalry looks like it's going to get pretty interesting today as he's making up some ground on his playing partner. Time for the second shot at the 17th. Ooh, that almost went down. And here we are with the third shot. Three shots off the lead. How close was that to going down? Well, this would be a great power putt if you can make this. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? There's part of about six feet coming up. Starts off on a good line. Well, at least it wasn't a double. And that's a little disappointing. Dropping some spots on the leaderboard.
and it's time to tee off on the 18th hole. Looks like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. Opting for the hybrid, I think. This one needs to kick left. <laughs> Wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for birdie. And a fantastic look upcoming. And this one to move into the top 10 on the leaderboard. And another round safely in the books. Well, Rich, I thought that day was an absolute doozy. And this place seems to be in decent shape, don't you think? Great golf being played already. Can't wait to see the next round. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.